Let's see if we can build enough damage today to end the entire universe. Starting with what's called a Shredder on difficulty 0, which seems, seems to be adequate damage for now. I believe the gun that's known as the Shredder has a 50% chance to cause an explosion when it hits something, so that's not going to hurt our chances one little bit. Wave 1, no problem at all. I don't love any of these, we're going to reroll plus 1 ranged damage. And since we have a 15% crit chance, let's try a Shuriken because it bounces up to 1 time on a crit. Then we're going to reroll that and we're going to buy a second Shredder. And that leaves us with four weapons already, with lots of range and ranged damage. So wave two, also no problem at all. You know what, we're gonna take some luck. That comes with a nose. The medical gun seems kind of interesting, but I want damage. There we go, 10% attack speed. Uh, also the lens, plus one range damage. So between the two of them, more damage. I think I'm also gonna combine the two shredders. So another blue shredder. Which does mean we only have three weapons currently, but that's going to be more than enough because wave three is stupid. Full of stupid idiots being stupid. So far, really no problem. But usually the difficulties don't start till wave six or seven. At least they used to. I have no idea how this works now. We're just going to damage our way through it. I'm going to take six max HP. That's only going to give me a fraction of that because of our class. Then I'm either going to take mutation for one extra damage. And then I'm going to save this for next time and we're going to buy a laser gun. Now we're back to four guns. I am eating up a bit of range for some of these upgrades, but we don't need as much range as we have anyway. We've got plenty. That pistol with the explosion is actually really good for when you get a big mob of enemies. It really shreds through them. I think I understand its name now. And hopefully pretty soon we'll find some of the legendary upgrades to kill things even quicker. But right now this really isn't a struggle. I want to kill whatever's in the tree. Just because it was a free item. This would give us more damage, more HP, but more enemies. I mean, I'll take that. More enemies means more upgrades anyway. They were going to take plus one range damage and plus 10% attack speed. Plus another 10% attack speed here with more coffee. We're doing a coffee run. Uh, I still want this. So we're just going to lock that and do a reroll for now. And then I'm definitely going to take a pistol too. The pistol two by itself does 30 damage, which is a lot. And I'm going to see how this goes. And we're going to start to base our upgrades on what we actually need based uh, rather than whatever we want, which is how I usually do things. Enemies are getting quicker and they're grouping up more, but we do have some explosives already, which helps thin them out. They are getting quick, and I guess we did summon more of them as well, but that was for uh, important stuff. Oh, we had to get plus for engineering. I don't really know what engineering is, so we're going to reroll. I'll take some max HP. Why not? Okay, blindfold, 5% crit chance, 5% dodge, which is pretty big. Mm, nothing there. I need more of the blue and better things. Okay, I'm going to take a laser gun, because that gives us two laser guns now. But considering I have six guns that all seem rather powerful at this point, I'm not overly worried about our odds yet. We have at least one level up going on up here, and I need all of these trees that I could possibly get. Hopefully they drop items. I can see a lot of fun builds coming out of all these new items and weapons. So far, wave six was actually kind of laughably easy, but I'm sure they're going to escalate. So we got a lumberjack shirt. Trees die in one hit. Okay, I don't know. Oh, I know what the trees are. Okay, then we're going to take plus one range damage. I think I'll just take the leather vest. We're going to lose some HP but gain some other stuff. Then I'm going to take the shady potion for 20 luck but minus two HP regeneration. And we're going to lock this thing for next time because that's damage and armor. And wave seven, so far so good. We've got lots of fast firing weapons and they do plenty of damage. So I think it's going to be a while before we start to struggle. But also famous last words. There's a tree. We killed it in one hit because we're a lumberjack. That is a pretty useful upgrade, actually. I wouldn't necessarily buy it for very much money, but when I get it for free, absolutely. There's nothing wrong with that. Okay, we're making wave seven look pretty easy. So that bodes well moving forward, but I'm not sure what exactly we have in store for us ahead anymore. Probably just lots of killing and $210. So I'm actually going to reroll these. Plus 10 harvesting wouldn't be bad. Let's take HP. On this one, probably a little bit of armor. Okay, then this we're going to take 20 damage, 20% damage, and plus one armor. So that'll take my pistol level 2 from 31 up to 38 damage, which is actually a really big increase. Then I'm going to buy another shredder after I combine these two together. And then we have better guns again. I'm actually going to lock the banner because I want that attack speed. We already have lots. We got 30% extra attack speed. I want more. Especially because we're starting to fight the big idiots now. Uh, we can kill them, but they're going to eat a little bit more bullets before they do. Generally, we're doing plenty of damage, so it's not that bad, but it's going to get worse. Wave 8 is going off. It's making me lots of money, and so far I'm not feeling very challenged. But again, my damage and attack speed is pretty high, so I'm kind of a glass cannon. But as long as nothing touches me, we're going to be okay. Oh, here's some good ones. Do we want attack speed or let's take damage? 
because we get 10% attack speed here anyway. Then we're going to take an extra attack speed here. Then I'm going to buy a pistol level 2, which is going to turn uh, combined with my other pistol level 2, so we have a pistol level 3 for 57 damage. And then also a shredder, and I'm actually going to lock that SMG because I might keep that. But now our stats are starting to get a little bit ridiculous. And if they whoops, keep going this way, it's only going to get worse. That was a lot of damage, so I can't touch very many things before I die, but my guns will keep me safe. But this is also why I want an SMG, because it constantly fires forward, and with all the damage, I think even the little things will die before they get to us. I think that's our biggest damage right now, is the little things that are just very quick. They'll get through our defenses, but not with this submachine gun. The rounds are definitely starting to feel more intense, though. There's a lot more idiots, but we did also uh, get the upgrade to have a few more idiots. But that's just extra upgrades, so it'll balance out, probably. So, if you're listening game, just give us one of those. $437? Well, look at all this. Speed, armor, damage, max HP. We lose some crit chance, but I won't miss it. Then we're actually going to reroll these. We're going to take plus 3 range damage. And plus 15 luck. And then we're going to take uh, this... Uh, probably lose the shuriken, because I don't think that's necessary. We're going to get an SMG level 2. And then we're going to re-roll maybe a few times, depends on what we find, and hopefully find better and better and better stuff. Going to re-roll these. I wouldn't mind another gun. Well, actually, wish granted. We got an SMG-2. So I'm going to go ahead and buy that, and that's going to combine with my already SMG-2 for an SMG-3. Then I'm also going to combine the shredders, and then I'm going to take a medical gun, because that's got a big lifesteal, and that's going to help me get some life. Then I'm also going to take the Blood Leech, because that also has Lifesteal and HP Regeneration. We lose Harvesting, but I'm going to be perfectly honest with you, I don't remember how, how Harvesting works, so I won't miss it. Can't miss something if you don't understand it. Damage seems okay. That SMG uh, is really actually doing a lot of work. That's the one that's constantly firing bullets that seem to be doing a lot of damage. It is level 3 though, so uh, that's probably to be expected. Like, I actually can't get close to enemies anymore. The last level, they were getting pretty close. This time, they are evaporating across the map. So I'm definitely okay Okay with this something hit us there took off 5 hp uh that one also took off 5 hp see i get hit when i don't pay attention obviously so the the real challenge here is having me hold my attention onto the screen but with 10 seconds left i think we're gonna be perfectly okay might need a little bit more toughness though or plus seven percent crit chance okay there's a lot here that i really like first i'm gonna buy a shredder three because that's gonna combine with another shredder three into a shredder four then I'm probably going to buy the Poisonous Tonic for 10% attack speed, 8% crit chance, 15 range. We lose HP regeneration. I won't miss it. Then I think I'm going to lock the Glass Cannon. My SMG does 20 damage, and it has it fires 10 bullets a second. Oh, we're getting to these guys already. I forgot about the noise things. Luckily, they're dying pretty quick. I think our Shredder probably takes care of them. It is called the Shredder after all. So far, so good. 15 seconds left. Everything is dying in a real big hurry, so no challenges yet. I could still use some upgrades on my gun because it's only going to get harder, but so far I'm feeling optimistic. Ooh, 9 max HP, that's a lot. I'm going to take an extra 2 range damage in exchange for 7% attack speed. Should I take 25% damage? I probably should. That'll take us from 48 up to 57 damage for this thing. I don't remember what our upgrades were just now, but with our extra damage I'm feeling pretty optimistic. We're definitely a glass cannon, but we have 30 HP so we can take a few hits. I still haven't seen any uh, legendary weapons yet, like an RPG or minigun or anything. Not that it really matters at this point. Uh, if any of the enemies need me, I'll be standing here patiently waiting for you to try and touch me. Uh, it's not as fun this way. I gotta go pick up the upgrades anyway, the power-ups, and plus cut the trees down. I am an official lumberjack after all. It would be insulting to the nation of Canada to not utilize those skills. All right, well, I think I've stumbled into a pretty good build so far because this is wave 12 and I just made a joke of it. Okay, so we're going to take 15% attack speed. Then I'm going to recycle this medical gun and then replace it with a better medical gun. Then I'm just going to reroll hoping for better and better things. A flamethrower sounds fun. Mm, I need level 2 or better guns at this point especially. Projectiles pass through one additional target. We lose 10% damage to do that though, that's a lot to lose. But it is a purple item, so I should probably trust the fact that it's better. So we're gonna try that, I hope I don't regret that. I'm also gonna save the alien baby, cause that's insane. Uh, but I do want a rocket launcher, so I'm gonna lock that and we're gonna replace the pistol with the rocket launcher next round. Provided I survive this very challenging round, they come with helmets now. They don't even have brains, what are they protecting? 40 seconds left, I don't know if we're gonna make it. The stress is killing me. When I walk around, it actually gets harder. I think I do better if I just hold still, but I need all the upgrades, so... You guys are just gonna have to deal with dying in assorted places. There's nothing I can do here. 
Yep, damage is gonna be A-OK. -okay. Damage is A-OK, -okay. it's only gonna get better from here, that's the scary part. $243 plus 57 after dollars. Do we want any of that? Well, it is range damage. I don't really want any of that, I kind of want purple or better. Can we instigate that policy? Now, we're gonna recycle the basic pistol, get a rocket launcher that's gonna do heavy damage, we're gonna take the alien baby. Well, that actually makes enemies quit, whatever. Uh, I don't know what that thing was, but our rocket launcher seems to take care of them pretty quick. So I'm glad I have that. All of our weapons take care of them pretty quick. Our damage has been kind of stupid for a while. I didn't really realize the level it was at until now, when we're one-shotting even whatever these things are. Even with their helmets, they just get exploded everywhere. I think I do a pretty decent mix of uh, heavy, slow-firing weapons and quick, light-firing weapons so that we have something for everyone. I just got another achievement for, I believe that says Gatherer 2. I think that's because I'm gathering so many pieces on the ground from all these dead idiots everywhere. Wave 14, yeah, still pretty easy so far. Plus 2% lifesteal. What's our lifesteal at? I'll take that. Do we want damage or attack speed? We probably want damage. I don't want any of these. A purple double barrel shotgun is interesting. So I'm going to leave that alone for now. We're going to take a medical gun that's going to boost ours up to level 3. It's got 52% lifesteal. Then I'm going to take 15% XP gain. Should I take that? I might as well. We're going to get more XP but less luck. Because I assume at this point it doesn't really matter what choices we make, at least for a few more waves, because we're a little bit ahead of the curve. I'm not feeling underconfident. We also have 40 HP, so I could probably get hit quite a few times before it's going to be a problem. And with the amount of life still we have on that one gun, I think we're going to be okay. So we'll just keep circling and circling and circling, then walking through the middle to pick up their corpses, whatever these are. Yeah, this will work out okay. Cut the tree down. The enemies are getting so numerous it's hard not to walk into them, but that's just based on pure numbers. Oh good, another one of these. Another 20% damage of one armor for me. And then we'll take 15% attack speed. It is tempting to try the Ghost Scepter, but let's not wreck a good thing too much yet. Well, here we can take one more range damage. That's pretty easy to buy. Would like some more higher end weapons, please. Okay, I'm going to reroll just once more, and we're going to lock that because I will take more damage, and whatever, off we go again. But even based on that one upgrade, our damage went up so much that it's almost stupid. Like, I just hit that for 247 on a regular hit. We have a lot of explosives too. Between the shredder and the rocket launcher, we're uh, <laughs> we're gonna be just fine. Yeah, I do feel the enemy's getting a little bit closer to me this wave though, so we're still gonna need some upgraded weapons. We only have one tier four. We've had that for a while, but that probably also carried us for a long ways by itself. Well, we'll take HP and regeneration, I guess. We're losing our luck, but I haven't really been feeling the luck, and we can just put it right back here anyway. A level four slingshot. It's considered primitive, not ranged. It also has lifesteal. I'm just not sure which one of my guns to give up for that. Maybe my laser gun? Maybe the RPG because I have other explosions? Let's drop out the RPG. I might regret this forever, but that was actually really expensive. And I'm also going to buy another 20% damage just in case. Oh, but there's also a level 4 pistol, so as long as we survive this round, and I think we will, we're going to be okay. And so far, yeah, so good. This is this is perfectly fine. Things are just melting away, even them and their stupid little helmets and glowy redness. And plus we get a level 4 pistol after this. So that's certainly not going to hurt anything one little bit. Uh, I think I just walked into something there. That did a lot of damage. Okay, I definitely need to not walk into whatever I walked into. Life is so much easier when you're not a moron. At least I would assume it is. We did get four items though, so maybe our luck is finally turning around. We got a few seconds left in this wave. Yeah, they're definitely getting busier. 7% damage, 2 max HP. Yep. 20% damage again. How many of those can we get? Uh, yes. Also yes. Maybe we'll take some more dodge. We have 11, so yeah, now we have 20% dodge. Now we have an easy choice, because I don't think we can straight up buy the pistol. We've got to sell the level 2 pistol for 45 and buy the level 4 pistol for 166 damage. Even the SMG at this point is up to 43 damage. Anyways, now that our damage is even higher, we're getting charged by mini Vikings, who stand about as much chance as the prior rounds did, it seems. So I'm probably mostly just going to stand here and kind of assess things and try and figure out what we need next. Big guys down there, big guys over there. Well, since the enemies are slowing down, we can walk around and get some pickups. It's a little bit hard when there's a lot of them spawning in, like this is a weird little corner to be in. And once we start having to dodge all the projectiles, that's when it gets messy. But I think I've got enough health now. 51 health, so we're okay. We're better than okay. They're the awesome before they spawn in. I really want to do an investment build though. I think we could probably get a lot of money in this and build something absolutely stupid. Okay, apparently we found an exoskeleton, which is a legendary uh, red rare. 5 armor, 15% crit chance. Yes. 
That was such a stupid find. Now we have a 50% crit chance and our armor's up to 11. So let's take another 8% damage and be on our way. I still want red though. There we go. A mammoth. 15 melee damage. That's so stupid. I mean, I can't, I can't use that anyway because I have guns, obviously. A minigun 4, that's what I want. $732, I need that. I need that to replace my SMG because it's like an SMG on steroids. And it's legendary or whatever the red tier is, so I'm all for that. Did I lock that? I hope I locked that. I got so excited I might not have locked that. Oh, that was easy. Uh, plus three percent damage at the end of the way. Why would you not take that? Oh, I didn't do this stupid thing. Oh, man. Oh, like I said, it's easier when you're not stupid. Well, we're going to get an explosive turret because that just adds on. Let's try some knockback. That might come in handy. Uh, these shoot six aliens around you every five seconds, dealing 58 damage. Yeah, why not? All right. Well, I guess we'll jump into the next wave and enjoy it. Wave 20. Okay. Uh, okay. Ah, wait, wait, what's on my team? I don't know what anything is. There's a boss though. Okay. We don't touch those. I got it. I get it. So speed. Okay. We need speed. Without speed, you die to those very easily. I wasn't sure if those are my turrets or the other things or not, because I had this. Again, things are just so much easier if you're not a moron. 